Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be the intro that I use to film my entire, entire makeup collection, okay? So this is going to take a lot of work on my part, so I hope you appreciate it. Um, but basically what I'm going to do is film all of my makeup collection in parts. I think there's going to be probably about 10 videos that go up. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them all up in like a span of like two weeks or if I'm going to put them up like one at a time. Um, but by the time you're seeing this video, you will have figured that out. <laughs> I am going to be recycling this same intro for all of the parts simply because there's a couple of disclaimers that I want to put out there. I'm sure most of you don't need to hear these disclaimers, so you can like fast forward if you want. Um, but honestly, some people need to hear it and yeah. So um, I guess that's the most environmentally friendly way to do it, right? Uh, it's totally not me being lazy and not wanting to film 10 intros. So for this um, particular collection series, there may be a few things here and there that I decide to declutter. Um, I did a very ruthless declutter back in December, so I don't think there are a ton of things in my collection that I'm just needing to get rid of. Um, but there could be things here and there. I'm thinking especially in like the palettes the lip products there could be things that I want to get rid of um, so if that's the case I will be decluttering those um, potentially to friends or family that are interested in them um, please don't ask me to mail you used makeup that's kind of weird if there's anything that's unopened that I decide to declutter I may send that to a friend who's just learning how to use makeup um, or potentially donate to a shelter in the area which is what I've done in the past a couple times yes I am a makeup addict no, I am not in rehab. No, I'm not going to rehab, and you can't make me. Um, I do have a ridiculous collection. Nobody needs this much makeup. You don't need this much makeup, but I have it because I spend a lot of my fun money on makeup, and I am a sucker for packaging. So I probably have 200 very similar looking palettes, but the packaging is different, so in my eyes they're different. Who knows? Um, some of the stuff I may swatch, some of it I may not swatch. It's kind of hard to say. Um, yeah, but I'm filming this in the beginning and I'm going to be going up to start filming this collection hopefully later today. So um, if I can get all of the videos filmed today and then edit them and slowly release them, that would be the best thing for me, I think. Um, so yeah, I thank you so much for watching and let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, so these are all of my loose pigments. So I have a handful from Wet n Wild here. Some of these are like very, very shimmery. This one's more just like, um, it's more subtle of a shimmer. And then this one is a glitter. This is also a glitter. I received it as a gift from an indie makeup company that I shopped at. Are you going to focus? Seriously, we're not going to focus. We don't care. There we go. So it's a really, really pretty glitter. I'm not sure if I'm going to try to use that for, like, my nails or something because I think it's too big of a glitter to, like, be eye safe. Um, and then these pigments here are neon pigments from Pastel Roses UK. All of these pigments here are the same. They're different types of pigments, and I have a video swatching all of these, so if that's something you're interested in, definitely go check that other video out. And then this is a gold flake pigment from Midas Cosmetics, um, which they had a clearance, and I was already picking up some stuff from Smoky Glow, um, so pick this one up as well. These are all really, really beautiful. I don't plan to get rid of any of them. Like I said, I'm going to try this one on my nails um, just because I think it's too big for the eyes. But that is my loose pigment collection. So this is my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Collection. As you can see, I have some really cool, fun, like, greens. I have a purple, a couple of blues here. We've got the black and white collection that released. And then a bunch of, like, kind of coppery, metallic-y, warm-toned colors. Colors. Um, this is the only one that I have that is a matte and it is Waddles, um, which I think is a Kathleen Lights color. Um, I, obviously, I really do like these. I definitely like the No Kill LA contribution shades that they do. And then this is originally a cheek highlighter, but it's for deeper skin tones. But it's a really, really pretty rose gold color, so I tend to use it just as like an eye topper. Um, but these are... These are my single shadows from ColourPop in the Super Shock formula. 
Okay, so these are a couple of other glitters. These I got in my most recent box from my aunt. Um, we have this white shade called Gold Stardust that kind of reflects gold and then sort of this minty aqua kind of shade, a deep blue shade, sort of a bronzy copper shade, and then this one is like a pure silver shade. And these are all eye safe glitters. They're finely milled enough that you can use them on the eye. They are from Ashley Lee and they are a galaxy glitter. So if that's something that you're looking for, you want that super, super sparkle, but you don't wanna have like eye surgery afterwards, go with these. <laughs> These are the Jelly Much shadows. Oh, and I have one Holika Holika shadow here. This is, again, from one of my box exchanges with my aunt. It's similar to, like, the Super Shock shadow. Um, really pretty copper color, so I'll put it with those. These are the Jelly Much shadows that I do have. I am going to pop these open and just make sure that they're all still good. Very concerned that they may not be good anymore um, because I just don't think they have the shelf life that I thought they would. So pop these open here quick yeah like you can see these are really really hard already I think I might need to do like a week of using these and then get rid of them because they're just dried out which is really irritating if anybody has any tips on how to sort of revive these, definitely let me know. Because some of these I don't even think I used for a look yet. So this first one was strawberry jam. And then this one I think is like strawberry jelly. Yeah. So that's those two right there. And you can see they do have a really, really pretty reflective quality, but it sucks to pay like eight, nine dollars for something that literally expires before you get to use it. This is Doves and Roses. And it still has some pigment, like it's still there. You can see that one right there. It's like pinky gold, but they just, they dry out so fast. It's so annoying. This one is close to you. And you can see that one is like so bright, it's literally blinding the camera. This one is Hoot and Holler. Can you tell I like rose golds? That's that one right there. And I mean, they're pretty, but like, could I not get this same kind of reflectiveness from a Super Shock shadow that's gonna last longer? I don't know. Now we'll get into the Villains one. This is Just Your Voice. And that's like a blue to purple duochrome kind of shade. Green one, not today. I'm pretty sure I have used this one once before at least. But see like look how barely anything is showing up here.
And like you can see it, but like, meh. So annoying. This one is perfectly wretched. And you can feel that one is kind of gritty. And this one is Spindle. Oh, so lucky that one landed the way it did. And that one's like a purpley gray kind of shade there. So, I mean, they still like swatch okay-ish, but they're super, super dry. And I can't imagine rubbing on my eyes this aggressively to get the shade to come through. So I think they're drier than what I would like to use for my eye area. Okay, so the last thing that I just wanted to come back and tell you, if you have any of these um, Jelly Mutt shadows and they dry out, try scraping some of it out of the container and mix it with this um, multi-tasker mixing medium because you can see this is without the medium and then this is with. Like this gets it very similar, like back to a texture that's very similar to what it was before. Um, so if that's something that you're struggling with in your collection, you could give that a try. I'll start with these. These are some eyeshadow sticks. I can't even remember the last time I touched one of these. I really just never use them. I used to use this one and this one for inner corner highlights, um, but I have so many other things that I like better now for that. Um, so I just, I just don't mess with these. So I'm definitely gonna let them have a new home. Okay, and then let's talk about some singles. These are some metallic singles that I have from L'Oreal, um, and these are super, super expensive. You can see how much dust is on them because I rarely ever use them. They were really expensive though, so I would like to try to get some more use out of them before I let them go. Let me clean off all this glitter before it stains. Okay, and then I have this Kaja Bento box. I really do like these. This is one of the original ones, Orange Blossom, where all of the shades are like really glittery shades. Um, so I do really like that, but it's not a complete look in a palette. So something to be aware of if you're thinking about these. All right, I've got a Stila um, powder. I think I might let that go. This is kind of old um, and I hardly ever dipped into it. They're beautiful colors, but I know I'm never going to reach for this over some of the other things that I have in my collection, so I'm going to let these go as well. Then I have some Urban Decay singles. Um, this is Ether, which is like a metallic-y, purpley black kind of color, and that's pretty. I might hang on to that one. I have this one, which is like this smoky green, it's called Zodiac, and it's got like blue-green glitters all through it. That one's also very pretty. This is X. Wow, so special. Urban Decay, look at you go. And this is the shade that I'm like constantly a sucker for, this like peach pink to gold duochrome flip kind of shade. I counted up once and I had like 9 or 10 of almost that identical shade in different um, companies, colors in my collection. So, And then this is Midnight Cowboy. This was a birthday gift the one year um, from Ulta. And again, it's just like an iridescent pinky white shade. I feel like I have so many of these that I can let that go. Um, and I have some other colors like this that I can let go. But these two are kind of, well, are they unique? Be right back. 
So I swatched out two of the shades from the Misunderstood palette from ColourPop, and they are a little bit different, um, so I think I will keep those two, but I think I might let these two go, because um, somebody who doesn't have as many redundant eyeshadows as I do might find some benefit out of those. And then I have a couple of, like, a couple. I have a whole bunch of liquid things here to talk about, so let's do that next. Um, this cover effects is um, a glitter drop in Celestial. I got it in BoxyCharm. I don't really use it that often, so I think I can go ahead and let that one go. And then I have this Kaja Moon Crystal. I do really like this, so I'm going to hang on to this one, um, see if I can get some more use out of it. So let me open up that thing here. Okay, so the next is that I have a whole bunch of these Stila glitters, which I've collected over the years. They are super, super pretty. That's an elf one. I'll talk about the elf ones in a second. But I have a bunch of these Stila glitters. They're very, very pretty. I have no intention on getting rid of any of them. The one that I think is one of the prettiest is this one, which is Wanderlust. And it just has this, like... It's definitely like a see-through kind of topper shade, but it has like greeny, pinky glitters in it. Um, that was a recommendation from Raw Beauty Christie, and rightfully so. Um, here's another one of those pink to gold duochrome kind of colors in a liquid. Um, and I have one right there too, I can see already. But I am going to keep all of my Stila glitters. Alright, next let's talk about these e.l.f. glitters because they are very similar. I have black, white, and blue for these e.l.f. glitters. They are very, very nice. I do enjoy using them, um, and I want to keep using them a little bit more. They're great if you get a liner brush for using like a glitter liner um, to do like more of a graphic kind of liner thing. So definitely would pick some of these up if the Stila ones are not in the budget that you want to spend. I have two of these Profusion glitter liners, um, and these have like teeny tiny little brushes. You can see they're like a tiny, tiny brush, um, but they do work really nicely. I do like the colors that I have picked out, so I'm definitely going to keep using these as well. These two things I just got from Makeup Revolution, and they are super pretty. So these are more of like a metallic um, liquid eyeshadow, very, very pretty. And then these are more of like the glitter toppers that go with them um, for 10 bucks. You can't beat that price. Um, I do really enjoy these, so definitely going to keep these around. This one is a color tattoo. I feel like I never use this. I don't even know color-wise. It's sort of a shimmering taupe kind of color. I think I can let this one go because I'm probably not going to get much use out of it. These are two from NYX, and I don't even think I've gotten a chance to use this one yet. But look how pretty that is. That's pretty. And then this is just a silver liner, again, with one of those really fine brushes. So I am going to keep those. That's the, the purple right there. And then these two are from Flower Beauty. We have Warrior, which is sort of a gunmetal color. And then we have this purpley shade. Ooh, wow. Okay, guys. So these are the two Flower Beauty ones. The purple, I don't know why it's reading so blue on camera, but it is definitely like a grapey purple. And then this is like a gunmetally silver taupe color. I think because this one looks so much nicer than this one, I'm gonna keep this one and then let this one go. I want to thank you again so much for watching this part of the collection series, and I hope to catch you in the next part. Bye!